Hey all, this is a real quick uh, video actually. It's just going to be how to make a custom shape form in C Sharp, Microsoft uh, Visual Studio. It's actually pretty universal. We could also use it in probably just about any of the Windows type desktop apps. So it would also work in uh, VisualBasic.net for example. Um, but just going to walk you through it real quick. Um, so all we have to do is create a sample project in this case or a form that you want to do it we're going to do it custom uh, sample shape okay and it's going to be a windows form application and okay and it'll take it just a minute or so to load up here uh while we wait for it i'll kind of show you what we're gonna oh, there it goes okay so I already know the dimensions of the image that I'm going to use for this example so we're just going to use that I know this one I've got it at uh, 1500 by 800 it's actually a pretty big form if you look at it okay um, so what we're going to do in my case is I don't want any buttons um, for this example and actually if you're going to do a custom form, you want to either take into consideration the buttons or make your own. Um, there may be, even be a way to overload the buttons directly onto the Windows form. And if you want to see that happen, leave a comment at the bottom begging me for it, and I will take the time to figure it out um, for an overload. Otherwise, we'll make our own in another video if that's what I get requests for. Um, so, with the border, we need to find our border style Whoop. okay we now have no border okay and then what we're going to do is find our uh, there's actually a few ways to do this part you can do either background image here or you can do your own a picture box on top and then just put that picture box on top I usually do it that route just so that I have something that's easy to find and change out without messing up everything else, but it really works the same. Um, the next step is you need to make an image that is going to have the parts of the form that you don't want to show up. I usually use about this color just because chances of me reusing this color on something I care about are fairly slim. Um, and I also know these colors pretty well. I know that it's red, green, blue, 255, 0, 255, 66. Um, then you paint what you care about, save it. I usually save it as a PNG, um, and then it will look like this. This is the save PNG of that exact same thing back there. And then you go back to your form. And there we go. New form is the name of it. Okay. So now we see we've got that form, although it looks like it did something a little funny there. So I'm actually going to do it the way I prefer and do it as a picture box. Okay, and now we have our picture box, and let's bring it up here a little bit and let's go to our size mode and we are going to auto size and let's do format it's actually just kind of looking a little bit funny to me it's still not quite lining up, is it there? Now, for the sake of the argument, we'll just say that that's good enough. I don't want to waste your time watching me fiddle and fine-tune. This we can do on our own pretty easily, right, guys? Um, so once we have that, um, we need to find the uh, Form 1. And then you can go down to Transparency Key. Click that little thing, and it'll right click one of those custom things to do a custom one and then just change this to 0 
255 and 66 just like we had in PowerShell earlier so make sure this lines up with whatever color it is on your picture that you wanted to have transparent and then when you launch the application you'll see we actually do have a custom shape here which because of everything else uh, let's do a new okay there we go this will make this a little bit easier to see the lines since everything is gray okay um, but of course we can still change the back color here and it'll make it a little bit more obvious what we're working with so let's make it a crazy dark blue okay there you go there's the shape of our new custom form now if you're pretty good with Photoshop I'm sure you can find a way to clean up some of these weird lines there may even be a nice way to transparent out it I have not gotten as far as that um, the more complex shape, the more aliasing it does, the more likely we are to see issues like this. But it does illustrate the basic concept here to make a custom Windows form, or a custom shaped Windows form. So feel free to use it. Um, of course, it would be easier if you're not doing it on this bar. Um, for example, if we did... for the sake of science and yes the desktop is my throw everything for about 10 minutes and then forget to delete it and it fills up with junk but that's okay uh, save it as a PNG again and then let's change that picture box to that guy and you know what this would actually have been a great thing to start with okay, now we can actually get our border control back Of course, you got to select the right thing, don't I? There we go. Uh, let's keep it fixed single. Okay. There you go. Again, back to kind of the concept here. This way we can actually move it around. But again, have a an example more or less on another custom Windows form shape. So it's really not hard to do. It's the doing it well that's hard. Um, at least with Windows Visual Studio in this particular method. Um, with quite a bit of code, could probably make it pretty simple though. Thanks. And of course, if you do have any suggestions or things you'd like to see, leave it in the comments and I'll take a look at it. Thanks.